Okay, today we're going to be looking at solving and graphing inequalities. <clears throat> Just like equations, the solution to an inequality are values that make the inequality true. You can solve inequalities in the same way you can solve equations by following these rules. First rule, you may add any positive or negative number to both sides of an inequality in order to solve. So we're going to look at an inequality, the first one being x minus 3 less than or equal to 2. And what we're going to do here is <clears throat> we're going to basically add 3 to both sides of that inequality. And doing that on the left will eliminate the negative 3 and you're left with only the x. 2 plus 3 is 5. So we have the inequality x is less than or equal to 5. To graph that, we would draw a number line, as I'm doing right here. I would uh, go ahead and mark out markings from 0 to 5. <clears throat> uh, that inequality contains 5, so we're going to make a dark circle at 5. And that darkened arrow going to the left means that we're that's the, all the numbers that represent x. In other words, I could let x be 4, I could be at, let x be 1, I could let x be a half. Uh, any value that, I, that I can replace x with that's in that uh, darkened arrow or darkened line going to the left of 5 would be a solution for that inequality. So let's take a look at the next inequality, x plus 5 is greater than 9. So here I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides of the inequality. And again, the idea is to get the variable on one side of the inequality by itself. So I'm going to be left with x, and 9 minus 5 is 4. So here I have x is greater than 4. So my solution then are all the numbers greater than 4, but not including 4. So again, I'm going to make my number line and make my markings. This time it's going to be an open circle around 4. And then it's going to be all the values to the right of 4. So that's the graph for that solution to that inequality. Okay, the next rule is you may multiply or divide both sides of inequality by any positive number. So I'm going to look at the inequality x divided by 3 is less than 2. So I look at that inequality and I say to myself, well, gee, 3 is dividing the variable. So we're going to perform the opposite operation, or the inverse operation, which is basically multiply both sides by 3. Because I know that 3 times x divided by 3 is going to be just x. I multiply the right side by 3, so the left side is just going to be x, and that's going to be less than 6. So the solution is all the numbers less than 6, but not including 6, are part of the solution. So again, we're going to make our number line, make our markings, and it's going to be an open circle around 6, and it's going to be all the values to the left. So you darkened arrow that number line. Very good. So now let's take a look at the inequality 4x is less than or equal to 12. 4x less than or equal to 12. So here, 4 is multiplying x, so we're going to perform the opposite operation, which is division. So you divide both the inequality side by 4 and the right side by 4. And so we're left with x is less than or equal to 3. So a solution is all the values less than or equal to 3, and so it's going to include 3 as part of the solution. So it's going to be a darkened circle around 3. And then we're going to darken the arrow going to the left of 3 on the number line. Okay. Now, the thing to watch out for is if you multiply or divide both sides of inequality by a negative number, you need to reverse the direction of the inequality sign. So for instance, if I have negative 2x is greater than negative 4. Well, to solve this, I would divide both sides by negative 2. But <clears throat> notice what I did to the inequality sign. I then reversed it. 
and we wind up getting x is less than 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to put in the particular markings. It's going to be an open circle <clears throat> and highlighted going to the left. Okay, now if you doubt that, if you doubt that, why would that be true? Try plugging some numbers in that are to the right of 2 and see if that works. Um, if I plugged in 3, um, if I plugged in, um, <clears throat> excuse me, if I plugged in um, 2, now let's say if I plugged in 3, if I plugged in 3 for instance and I went negative 2 times 3 greater than negative 4, which would be negative 6, is negative 6 greater than negative 4? Well, no, it's not. It's less than. It's further to the left of the number line. Okay, so anytime you multiply or divide by a negative number, you automatically reverse the direction of the inequality in order to, make, to keep the statement to be true. Okay, let's look at our last example. The inequality of negative x is less than or equal to 2. Here, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, so here I have just x. Reverse the inequality symbol. So I'm going to have my inequality is going to be x is greater than or equal to negative 2. So my solution includes the number itself. And this is going to be all the numbers, all the values to the right of negative 2 on the number line. So it's going to be a darkened circle, darkened circle at negative 2 and then highlight or darken the number line going to the right.